Tonight I'm going to demonstrate how to add the task manager to your system tray so you have an always running CPU monitor on your Windows 8 box. This particular machine is Windows 8 running on a Lenovo Yoga 13, 64 bit version of Windows 8. Let's get started with hitting the Windows key plus E to bring up Explorer. Now we can right click on the C drive, hover mouse down, and left click on the word folder. And let's create a folder called command. Okay. Click on the command folder, right click on this blank area, and again say new text document. Notice I removed the .txt and I typed in cmd. So start task manager.cmd. Now I just press the enter key. It gives me a warning. I say yes, I do want to change the extension. I want to go to the instructions here in the appropriate article. And we want to get the actual clear text right here of the two lines in question that are needed. Right click, copy, there we go. So we now have the lines of text needed to get this next step to work. We now right click on this file we created and say edit. And now we can hit control V in our keyboard to paste in what we had on our clipboard. We can now close it. It'll say, do we want to save our changes? We can say yes. All right. What's next? Well, we want to drag and drop this icon that we created, or this batch file, excuse me, to our desktop that will be creating an icon. So when we do this, right click, drag and drop. So we're holding down the right mouse button while dragging and dropping, letting go of the right mouse button on the desktop, and we're going to say create shortcut here. Okay, now we have a shortcut. I'm going to right click on the special shortcut and choose properties with the left mouse button. In the run dialog normal window, we're going to make that run minimized so it's less obvious when we reboot the machine that it's running. It's going to just run briefly and it won't be in our face. So now I'm ready to just click OK. Next, the directions tell me to paste from my blog article this sentence. Shell, come and start up. I highlight with the mouse, that one line, I hit control C, I've got it in the clipboard. And now I'm ready to hit the Windows key plus R for run. Hit control V to paste in from the clipboard. Hit enter to run it. And there we go, we've got our startup folder. And now we're ready to take the icon that was on our desktop, hold down the right mouse button, drag and drop it over in the startup folder. Notice I have this big blank, blank area, make it easy. Let go of the right mouse button, and then choose Move Here. It gives me a warning that I need administrator permission to do that. I'm going to click Continue. Okay, now we can do our first test of this new shortcut. When we double click it, you're briefly going to see a command prompt window show up. So briefly you can barely see it. And then it'll just go ahead and uh, run task manager. So watch this. Three, two, one, double click. And you may have caught that. So what do we have? We now have task manager running. If we open up task manager, that's the basic task manager view that Windows 8 ships with. We're going to want to click on more details with our left mouse button. And then again with our left mouse button, go to Options, turn on Always on Top, 
with the left mouse button, turn on minimize on use with the left mouse button, and turn on hide with minimized with the left mouse button. Okay, now that all those settings are on, we want to close Task Manager, which saves the tweaks we just made to our configuration. Next, we want to make sure it's visible at all times. Notice it's disappeared. I didn't actually close it, I just minimized it, but it's not visible. So we want to click on this Show Hidden Icons with our left mouse button, then left click Customize, and scroll through the list looking for Task Manager. Once we find it, say Show Icon and Notifications, and then click with our left mouse button, and then click OK with our left mouse button. I also like to drag this all the way to the right, so my eyeballs know exactly where to look at all times on any of my systems. So that's the gist of it. The finishing touch will be a reboot. Okay, we've rebooted, and now we'll go look at the desktop and watch it run. So wait for it, and we should see it auto start. Task Manager, as we requested it to do, and there it is. So only after a fresh reboot is it in your face and on the taskbar at the bottom, not just in the system tray at the bottom right. So the workaround for that is rather quick and easy. So after a reboot, it's subtle and it's out of your way, but to really get rid of it from here, you just need to double tap, 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 it's gone. And now we can see our CPU at a glance, how busy it is. We're still pulling in some data from the hard drive as Windows finishes booting here. That'll settle down shortly, and it's a nice visual indicator showing us that if we try to go using the machine right now, it's still probably going to be a little sluggish, because we can see at a glance the CPU is still rather busy. Special thank you to Dan Stoltz of Microsoft for the guest spot on his blog, itproguru.com. And I hope you can visit tinkertry.com, where your comments below my articles are always greatly appreciated and where you'll find a variety of articles about efficient virtualization, storage, backup, and more. Tinkertry, IT at home.